Well, boating season is a big part of the summer months, but staying safe on the water is key to enjoying the pastime regardless of where you are. Yeah, New York Sea Grant Coastal Recreation Specialist Dave White is back and he's got some important safety tips for all boaters. Good morning, Dave. Good morning. How are you today? Good, good. I guess, you know, um, we should start with boater safety, but, and, and I guess this question is twofold because gas prices are at an all-time high, so uh, that's something for boaters to consider, too, right off the bat. Um, it is, and, you know, the one thing I've been saying to folks is, and I'm, I am sitting here right now on the, on the north shore of Oneida Lake, and, you know, today's the first full day of summer, and we get, like, maybe three to four good months for boating. Don't let higher gas prices stop folks from getting out on the water maybe do it a little differently maybe do it a little more economically but we have the greatest water resources in the world right here in upstate and central new york so please 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 if you have a boat get out on it this summer figure out a way so you can really have that fun out on the waterway with your family and friends hmm. uh, dave are there any new regulations that boaters need to be aware of going into the summer um, there, there's always a change in regulations and a new modification. Uh, the newest one this year is that your fire extinguisher that you have to have on board for a power boat has to be within 12 years of its manufacture date. Um, and that's, again, just to make sure it is going to be in workable order and be on the boat to protect folks. Um, last year we had the, uh, as I call it, the lanyard law, where if you have the lanyard on board, it's the emergency kill switch. You had to have that attached. So there, there's usually a new regulation or two that comes out every year that folks need to think about and be planning for. And as you and I have all been chatted about, you know, if you take that 15 minutes to plan in advance before you go out on the waterway, you're gonna have a great day out there. Your, your flares are to the correct date, your fire extinguisher, you've got all the life jackets on board for everybody that'll be there. Uh, you know, all those basic things that we wanna do. And, uh, you know, this year people need to just take extra thought process about uh, efficiency with gas because of the higher prices. Yeah, you know, when we think about what we need on a boat, right, you mentioned everybody thinks of life jackets, right? Every person, every person in the boat needs to have a life jacket. What other items should boaters have on their boat? You know, there, there are great lists online um, with our friends at Boat US, our local marine dealer associations, the Boating Industry Association has great information online to be thinking about all of the things that you need to have on board, not only required, but recommended. And as you said, the top one is life jackets, but, you know, having your flares on board in case you get into trouble, uh, having your SOS flag having a sound producing device. And, you know, I often laugh with people. I mean, I have a 21 foot boat that if I push the button for the horn, it goes honk. I, that's really it, it. So, you know, having a whistle on board, and I have a whistle on all of my life jackets. So that if someone does have a problem or if they were out alone and they fell overboard, they actually have something right with them that they can get folks' attention. So, you know, having those things on board, readily accessible for everybody on board becomes critical. And, you know, it's, it's a great time of year if you haven't taken a boat safety course um, to go online and take one. Uh, a lot of our friends in the Coast Guard Auxiliary, Power Squadron, and volunteer instructors or sheriff are still teaching them. Uh, but it's a great time to get out there, get you excited to be on the water, and make sure you're feeling comfortable on the water. And we're also seeing a lot of rental opportunities. So for those that don't have a boat, that are like, you know, this is something I'd like to get into or I want to take the family, almost everybody of water now in upstate New York has at least one rental location for a power boat. Uh, and definitely kayak, paddleboard, canoes are always available for rental. So interesting point you bring up, Dave, about the rental boats. Because, you know, if, if we don't own a boat and we're like, hey, let's spend the day in the water. We want to get out there. We want to have fun. We don't want to think about safety and, you know, the checklist. Who, who does that fall on? Is that the company that you're renting it from? Is it on you as the boat operator? Is it a, is it a mutual responsibility to make sure that everybody stays safe that day? It's, it's a mutual responsibility, Steve, as you just said, but you, if, when you go to one of our local dealers and they're gonna rent you a boat, uh, they will put you through a mini safety training for that actual vessel. Uh, that vessel will be equipped with all of the emergency equipment and required equipment you need to have. They'll show you where it is. They'll show it how you operate it. Uh, you know, and then they're also accessible throughout the day if someone has a problem with that boat. Uh, different boats have different regulations with them in some bodies of water as to how far away you can go. Um, from shore or from the dealer that you're getting it from. Um, and But they share that all with you. And you know, it is just a great opportunity for folks that are thinking about, you know, I'd like to do it just a couple of times a year. Um, or like, you know, I want to try it out to see if it's something that I want to do with the family. And you, depending on where you are, you can rent personal watercraft. 
Um, pontoon boats are extremely popular. Um, and as you know, we're, we're seeing new pontoon boats being available right here on Oneida Lake for rent. Um, and, you know, a lot of power boats uh, and, and kayaking canoes. So depending on what you want to do with the family, it, it provides a great opportunity. But it is shared a resource because once that person gets behind the helm, they are responsible for everybody on board, making sure they have a safe, fun day out on the water. Well, some great advice and a great way to kick off, as you said, the first official, you know, day of, well, first full day of summer. So thanks so much, Dave, for joining us. Enjoy the water. Stay safe. We're, we're <laughs> jealous that you're out. We wish we could switch places. Enjoy the day, Dave. One quick question for you. What is the largest inland body of water in New York State? I didn't know we were going to get trivia here I on the back know. end. Uh, hey, you started it, Steve. Uh, Oneida Lake. Oh, it is, is that the largest oh, inland body of water because okay. it is entirely in the state of New York. Your wow. trivia for the well, day. Well, look at you enjoy that. <laughs> day I, I always on love the lake, learning Dave. something. Thank Me you, Dave. Too. And listen, the New York Sea Grant is a cooperative program of Cornell University and the State University of New York and one of 34 university based programs under the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration National Sea Grant College program. To learn more, you could visit nycgrant.org. You can also visit USCGBoating.org to learn more on the U.S. Coast Guard.